What's up, y'all? It's just me today in this video. I uh, just want to give you guys an update on my 11th day of raw food and juicing. I just felt in the mood to just do a juice day. I haven't had any raw food whatsoever today. I haven't even put any grapes or mangoes, nothing. All I did today on day 11 is just juice all day. Uh, for some reason, I just felt like doing it today. So my update is um, I, I still have a little back pain. I'm not sure if that is from the detox flu or my line of work, but my back wasn't hurting a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so you take that what you will. What else is going on with me for day 11? Oh, I'm starting to have a stomach. <sighs> it's a stomach pain slash ache it started yesterday on day 10 but i didn't think anything of it and it transferred over to day 11 so it still hurts it hurt more yesterday so it's coming down uh on day 11 but i was like man why is my stomach hurting maybe i was holding my stomach in as i was driving i have no idea maybe it's the maybe it's what i'm doing Maybe it's the detox flu. Maybe it's all the juicing. Maybe it's the raw foods. If you guys got an answer, let me know. Put it down in the comments below. I'll read them all. I don't know. Like I said, it just started yesterday. Uh, not even when I woke up yesterday morning. It started somewhere around the afternoon. I was like, oh, that's a stomach pain. But I didn't lift anything or nothing. I just, I had to make a quick swerve when I was driving. But I didn't have to jerk my whole body. All I did was just move the truck that way. That's all. There wasn't nothing crazy. I just did a little quick jerk because it was a pothole. And I felt it. Felt a little pain slash ache in my stomach. I was like, oh. And then since from there, it was like, and then later on in the evening, I didn't want to talk about that because I thought it was just, you know, no big deal. But yeah, it, it definitely started at a little bit after that time. I won't say immediately, maybe an hour hour and a half after I got home, I was like, oh, I got up out the chair. I was like, whoa, what's this pain? Later on, I started moving around a little bit. I was like, whoa, it wasn't uncomfortable. I was able to sleep, not a big deal. It wasn't keeping me from going to bed or I wasn't, you know, curled up into a ball or nothing like that. It, it felt more like a, uh, like I did too many crunches. And it was like, whoa, I better calm down, but you know I ain't do no crunches. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. I think that will be, I don't know when I'm going to start working now. It's coming very soon, though. You guys uh, want to see that? Let me know down in the comments, because, you know, if y'all want to see my workouts when I start, then I'll, I'll record those, and I'll get a little bit more in detail how I do it, because brother has no patience for that two, three-hour stuff. So at the moment, I feel good. I have energy. Everything is moving right along. Bowels is moving good. Uh, I do have energy. It's after six o'clock and I still feel good. I don't feel like I need a nap. I don't feel like I, and I had a long day today and I, I didn't feel tired whatsoever. So that's a good thing. Cause normally around six, 6.30, I am yawning and I'm, I, need, I need to just chill out. So I definitely feel the results of this and i only been doing it 11 days y'all so i'm totally happy i bring it up well not a lot but can't wait till my uh skin clear up my forehead cheek and nose area that's where it is the most dry skin dry patches and a little part a little bit right here i didn't cut my hair today but i get to it eventually let my beard grow out. I'm on, if you guys know, you guys let me know. Doing this juicing and this raw food in time, do you think I'll have a straight black beard? Or do you think it'll always be salt and pepper? I don't know. You guys are a little bit more knowledge in me than I am. You guys will have a little bit more knowledge than I do. Let me know. I don't know what that sentence I just said, but you got the gist of what I just said. So if you got, a, if you got an answer for that, put that down in the comments as well. That'd be fantastic because I'm hoping I can get this back all black. If not, no problem. I don't mind showing my father time. <laughs> uh, and that's really it. I don't really have anything else. I'm 
like I said, I'm doing pretty good other than symptoms here, things that I noticed. I update you guys to let you know how I'm going through, how I'm feeling, how it's working out for me, sleeping, if I'm getting any headaches and I'm sleeping really well. I haven't even used my sleep app. Sleep app is a machine that you use when you have sleep apnea. I haven't even had to use that thing. I, I'm going to bed. I'm not waking up with headaches. I can actually go to bed on time. I'm not tossing and turning. I can put my head down and actually go right to sleep. But I've never had that problem. I've always been able to go to sleep. My problem was staying asleep. And I notice I'm getting up a little later now. But when I do get up, I'm feeling refreshed. At one time, before, before all of this, I can get up and feel like I was still in yesterday mode. Like I didn't go to bed. I didn't feel rejuvenated. I'm starting to feel rejuvenated now which I think that is great because I haven't felt like that in a long time. So this is what's keeping me positive. This is what's keeping me motivated. This is what's keeping me moving forward with this because I'm seeing changes really quickly. This is hard, but I do want to do it. I want to see myself dropping weight. And I think every Sunday will probably be a reveal of my weight loss. I'll show you what my, from my waist up looks like. You know, you guys are going to get tired of seeing my bump bumps. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I keep saying that. It's so funny to me, but I just want to be honest with you guys. I want to, I want you guys to know everything that I'm going through with this 40 day. And I'm trying my best to keep it going and keep it motivated because I don't want to fail. I really want to see what I look like, how I feel once everything is over after the 40 days. And I don't even know, I don't even know why I wanted to do, uh, just do juicing all day. I have no clue. I just woke up this morning and said, I'm just doing juice today. I don't know. Don't have a reason. Just wanted to do it. So that's all I have for you guys. That's all I have for today. I just wanted to update you guys because I, you know, not worried about the stomach pain because I don't think it's anything serious. But I think if it does come down to something serious, I will take my butt to the doctor. But at the moment, I'm not concerned. So when I do get a symptom or have a symptom and something's weird or I notice like, wow, I can do that now. I, I like to post it so you guys know what's up. So I'm Ron G. Thanks for watching. Peace.